Soho Karen does an interview with Gal King and then is promptly arrested. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Don't talk about what you're going to do. Don't just dream about what you're going to do. Don't criticize somebody else for what they're not doing. You be it. Be about it. Be about that action and go do it. Keep your eye on your intention. Don't let any outside distraction or your own insecurity stop you from your goals. Embrace that struggle. Surviving that struggle will strengthen you. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN Jack Frost What's up party people Alright so Yeah So Apparently So Ho Karen Apparently her name is Mia uh, Pinsetto So Ho Karen Got an interview or interviewed by Gail King and promptly after the interview was done she was arrested okay now <laughs> I don't know what to say first of all sounds like a setup shout out to CBS shout out to Gail King um so first let me tell you about the interview which which we only seen part of the interview so far because there's a part of the, 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 the like it's like the six minutes and some change but probably about five minutes that they showed this right probably a little under five minutes so there's a part of the interview well gail king is trying okay is basically trying to convey something to her because it seems like she doesn't understand what she did and <laughs> she says all right, gang. All right, gal. And she like shushes Gail King. First of all, <laughs> the hell? <laughs> the cones on this one. Okay, so she shushes Gail King. I don't understand what all that's about. That's kind of insanity if you ask me. You do understand Miss uh, Pinsetto, who apparently isn't even white. So shout out to that shit. She just feels like she deserves all the privilege of the, <laughs> that the white people are accustomed to getting. I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's just not accustomed to getting white privilege. Okay, so real quick story. My daughter, um, her, his, her, pardon me, her mother is uh, white and her mother's Irish. So my daughter and me, when she was, especially when she was like little, and we would go, she would come visit me. She doesn't live in New York City. She would come visit me. And we would go like to the store or whatever. And wherever we would go, <laughs> this is the funny part. Um, people would think she was Spanish. They would speak to her in Spanish. So we would be, I guess, like in the store or something. <laughs> Y'all could have bagged some of them shorties. Anyway, we would be in the store or something. And while we're purchasing whatever we're purchasing or we're getting on the train or whatever we'd be doing just you know randomly people who spoke spanish would turn to her you know and say things to her in spanish basically you know calling her cute or whatever the case might be <laughs> cute as baby uh, call her cute or whatever the case might be she doesn't speak spanish i'm just saying so <laughs> i don't know if she took it up by now she's she's a young lady now she might know some spanish but point being is this Maya Pinsetto, I, I, I hope I'm saying her name correctly. It seems like she's used used to getting white privilege. So when <laughs> when Gail King acts up and, and Gail King, no, obviously she's literally one of the best people at this on the planet. 
So when Gail King basically uh, spoke to her about her conduct and, you know, uh, asked her how she felt about tackling uh, the young boy, the young man, he's a young boy, he's 14 years old. When she when she tackled him, she basically deflected and said, well, her father, his father grabbed me by the hand, slammed me on the The father was trying to get you off of his kid. Just saying. Okay, first of all, she's lucky the moms wasn't there. Because I'm just going to say this much right now. If the moms was there, there's no telling what kind of butt whooping she would have got if that young man's mother would have been there. There's just no telling. And by the, we might have been, somebody would have got arrested for a different thing. That's all I got to say. Anyway, so she has the interview with Gail King where she goes on to blame absolutely everyone else that could have possibly been associated with the situation except for herself. Apparently, she kept. She said at the end of the interview, well, the hotel had the phone. The hotel ain't the kid. That's one. <laughs> so if the hotel did have the phone, the hotel was not the kid. Let's just be clear on that. Second, just so we could be clear on this also, the hotel did not have the phone. She left her phone in the Uber. The Uber driver pulled back around and dropped the phone off moments after the incident. Yes, that's what happened. Anyway, we're gonna the Gail King interview. Go check it out. It was a good interview. Uh, she only played half of it so far, up until the point where she shush she shush Gail King. This lady's about to get all of the time. I mean, you only could probably give her about three years for what she did. She might get all of those three years because guess what? And soon after the end, as soon as the interview was over, she was busy driving, and guess who pulled up on her? The police. Oh yeah, did I leave that part out? Shout out to the NYPD. The NYPD sent detectives to California to allegedly, allegedly, talk to her. They wasn't there to talk to her, homie. You know what they was there to do? They was there to drag her back to New York. We ain't playing games with you, young miss. So she's arrested. And check this out, just so we can be even more clear on what happened. So they tried to pull her over. So they're driving behind her, trying to get her to pull over. She doesn't pull over. Check out the interview. If you see the interview, you will understand the the gall of this lady. This this you would just under Oh man, she's not gonna do well. If she goes to first of all, she's locked up right now, so she's in some kind of jail. She's not gonna do well in there. She gonna get beat up. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. She's gonna get then somebody's gonna step to her business. So the police try to stop a you know a soft stop that that's basically where we really don't want no situation we're gonna you're at a place we're gonna wait for you to leave a place we're gonna pull you over for a traffic stop then after we pull you over for a traffic stop we're gonna identify you tell you what's going on we're gonna arrest you we're gonna take you downtown boom right she doesn't stop she drives her car all the way home they pull up on her when she's in the driveway she doesn't want to get out the car she's staying in the car they're fighting to get her out of the car. She's resisting arrest. She tries to slam the car door and allegedly, allegedly, an officer might have gotten injured or almost got injured. We're not 100% sure. We have to see what new charges they give her next. So she has more charges besides the charges that happened in New York City. And, and for everybody that don't know, she and her mother had a similar situation in California. Now, this is basically uh, the thing that trumps it for me, right? When I say people try to try to uh, tell you one thing, and at the same time while they're telling you one thing, they want you to ignore all facts. So she said the reason why she was so disturbed over her phone is, is because she was in New York City alone, right? But in the same conversation, she says, well, you know, I went to New York City to visit relatives. <laughs> How the hell are you in New York City alone? If your whole entire reason for coming to New York City is to visit relatives. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Boomers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. 
I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. My This is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?